Praise the Lord, beautiful people of God. Hear the word of the Lord this morning. The desert and the dry land will be glad. The wilderness will rejoice and blossom like carcass. They will burst into bloom and rejoice with joy and singing. They will receive the joy of Lebanon, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the Lord's glory, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and support the unsteady knees. Say to those who are panicking, be strong, do not fear. Here's your God coming with vengeance, with divine retribution. God will come to save you. Isaiah 35 verses 1 through 4. I don't know how often you think about how strong your hands are, but I think about mine often. Over the last few years, I have taken up competitive powerlifting, and in the beginning of my training, my hands were not very strong. I do not mean simply that I could not hold the bar, though that was a part of it, but often I would leave the gym with my hands in pretty bad shape. As I moved through training, my coach showed me how to change my grip, to strengthen my hold on the bar in the heavy lifts. He also taught me when to protect my hands with grips and to use chalk so my hands did not slide on the bar. Different ways of working with my hands have benefits and detriments. Using grips allows me to hold onto the bar longer increasing the number of repetitions you can make in any given moment. It allows you to strengthen the rest of your muscles. The problem, grips gives you a different sense of hold. Steadying the bar in your hands. In preparing for my first competition, my coach specifically taught me to not use my grips anymore. I needed to put the strength of my hands to the test because in competition, I'm not allowed to use grips. What does any of this have to do with faith? I see both ways that I use my hands reflected in the passage. Strengthen the weak hands and support the unsteady knees. Increasing strength and providing support when strength fails. The reason that I am who I am in faith is because God exists in my life to both strengthen and support me. Sometimes those loving actions happen at the same time, and sometimes it feels like God is challenging me with one or the other. In times when I am being spiritually strengthened, I know it's because there will be times I need to be strong for myself and for others. In the times I am being spiritually supported, it is to care for me. Support allows me to move through experiences, knowing that I can do, be, and endure more. Let us pray. God, strengthen me and steady me. Allow me to trust the strength you have placed in my spirit, and yet allow me the humility to understand that you are the one that steadies me. Amen. Once again, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to this channel and please pass this devotion to five new people and encourage them to subscribe as well. God bless you and you have a great day.